Hello, I'm the Twit Gamer, and we're going to be doing a Let's Play of Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations. Not been long since we finished off Justice for All, and very much want to get this out the way. Not in a bad way or anything like that, it's like in a good way, because there has been some good announcements in the Ace Attorney series, and we will be doing them, in case you're wondering. I mean, it's got... Uh, Herlock Schloms. That's how you say it, right? We shall see when we get there. Anyway, he's got goggles. It's awesome. I can't wait. So anyway, we're going to do Trials and Tribulations. So let's get the housekeeping out of the way so we can get into it. If you do want to support the channel, you can do so on Patreon. There's a link down in the description. Press the subscribe button and the bell to remain updated with the videos. I don't know, smoothly caress the like button. I, I don't know, leave a comment saying objection, I guess. Donate blood. That's that's the one I actually care about. Donate blood, if you can. And it's not everyone can, but if you can, donate blood. Let's get on with the game, everyone. Oh, oh my. Turnabout memories. I didn't expect to see you here. That's what's taking me by surprise here. It's like, who? Is that who I think it is? Or has she grown up so much? Guess we'll find out. Guess we'll find out. Turnabout memories. Oh, oh, it's raining. Ah, how did I get into this mess? Oh. Why? Why did I do that? What did you do, Nick? It's gonna be Nick, right? That girl. You shouldn't see her anymore. Hey, it's none of your business. I'm telling you, for your sake, if you continue to see her, it's going to be bad news. You're lying. Just listen to me. And there's something you need to know about that girl. Stop it. D don't talk about her like that. What is with that top? It, it wasn't me. I, it, it didn't... didn't do it. Five years earlier, Mia Fey, second trial. April 11th, 9.40am, District Court, Defendant Lobby, number three. Phew, it's finally time. I'm kind of nervous. Ahem. <clears throat> Oh, Mr. Grossberg, good morning. Haven't seen you in ages. Ah, Mia, please calm yourself down. You're going to get yourself arrested for suspicious behavior, you know? What are you talking about? I am relaxed, Mr. Grossberg. Look at me, I'm relaxed. Mm. Uh, let go of my lapels. <clears throat> you obviously haven't got the temperament to be a lawyer. I, uh... So sorry, I... It's just that I'm so nervous today. Oh, that's right. Phoenix, right? Wait, no, no, you don't know that yet. This is your first time in the big leagues, isn't it? Well, n never you fear, my dear. I, Marvin Grossberg, am at your service. Um, actually, this is my second time in court. Still, you surprised me. What, with your earnest request last night? Let me handle this case, you suddenly said. And quite forcefully, too. I just found out yesterday, uh, about the case, I mean. What? You've already learned all the relevant facts? Well, about that. You see, I I mean, of course I have, I, I think. Oh dear. In any case, don't let our clients see you so nervous. You see the poor young man in the pink sweater over there? That's our client. Ah! He's wearing a mask. Good, good. Well done. Oh! Good morning there, everybody. Good morning. Try to keep smiling, Mia. I, uh, I just want to say... <laughs> I'll give it, give it all I've got. Yep. It, oh, my God. It'll be fine. No pro... Oh, my God. Phoenix, you okay? Oh, what's wrong? Do you have a cold or something? Mr. Rye? Actually, it's right. Like the Flying Brothers. 
People are screwed up all the time. And yes, I have a cold. That's what this mask is for. Sensible, reasonable, completely understandable, especially with the past year and a half we've had at this point, really. Well, just every... Yeah, about a year and a half. Close to a year and a half, I'd say. My dog says this way. I won't give it to anyone else. Be kind to others, he says. Yes. Yes. It's that simple, people. Right, Mr. Wright. You have nothing to fear in court today. If you are truly innocent, I promise I will save you. Mm, please let go of my shirt and cough. That's right. He's the one on trial, not you. He's the one who should be nervous. You need to stay strong for your client, Mia. My name is Mia Fay. I'm still pretty new at this lawyer thing. The first time I appeared in court was a year ago. But that trial traumatized me so badly, I thought I'd never set foot in another courtroom. It's been one year since then. And well, here I am again. But this time, this time I'm going to win. For my client, and for myself. April 11th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom, number two. Oh, yes, number two is red. Oh. Court is now in session for the trial of Phoenix Wright. Did you age like like a normal human at all? Like, you look as old as ever. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecute. Oh my god, your hair. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense today is Miss. Miss. Mia Fay, was it? Yes, Your Honor. Is there a problem? I was under the impression that Marvin Grossberg was to be leading the defense. Yes, well, you see, uh, Mr. Grossberg had uh, a bit of an emergency. Emergency? Isn't that him standing there right next to you? Yes, well, uh, you, you're just a rookie. Are you sure you can really handle this? Don't let him scare you, Mia. Give him your toughest luck. And of course, Your Honor. I think. Hmm. Well, Mr. Payne, your opening statement, please. Cook his hair. Well, well, well. Can't believe a veteran like me has to spend his time babysitting a new defense lawyer. Don't worry, little girl. It will all be over soon. What was that all about? Is he trying to trash talk me? It sounded very odd. Maybe drop that line of uh, intimidation there, mate. Now then, I'd like to proceed with a summary of events on the day in question. The incident occurred on the campus of Ivy University. The murder victim was a student named Doug Swallow. He was a fourth year student studying pharmacology. Hmm, sounds like he was a very bright young man. I mean, how do you, how do you discern that? Yes, well, next we have a photo taken at the scene of the crime. Hmm. So clearly he got electrocuted by the wire, right? I and mean, that just seems kind of obvious to me. Like, he died of electrocution, which isn't murder. Just the, it's like the electrical cable snapped and it electrocuted him. It's an unfortunate accident. The umbrella's probably a cute cl cue. A clue to something else, though, but... It's gotta be like the umbrella like wafted in the wind, hit the cable, the cable snapped as a result of like electrical discharge because it overheated, it flew down, hit him and killed him unfortunately. Students discovered the scene shortly after the murder, they found the victim's body. Uh, murder? And the defendant, who had obviously bungled his getaway, they then called the police. Hmm, that certainly makes the defendant look very suspicious indeed. How, how, are you looking at the same photo? Very well. The court accepts this photo into the record as evidence. Can we get like an autopsy report here? Because it's like, died of electrocution. Like, and how did he do this? How is it murder? Prime photo one added to the court record. I assume there'll be a number two then. By the way, I can't quite tell the cause of death from this photo. You can't? You can't? 
Oh my god. You can tell this is the tutorial trial, can't you? <laughs> Your reputation for Saga City okay, is well earned, Your Honor. I've never heard that word before. Or I have, and I don't know it's written that way. Someone let me know. The truth is that the victim died a rather unusual death. An unusual death? What do you mean, Mr. Payne? Well, perhaps the defense would like to take this question. Huh? A simple question. I thought I might loosen you up a bit. I am a genteel man, if you will. Uh, a what? Stand up to him, Mia. Show him what you're made of. Ah, perfect opportunity. Well, what was it? The cause. Go on. Please say you know it these, this much. I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't get a chance to read through the whole file. Ugh. My hemorrhoids are beginning to act up. Oh. Now, see here. The details of this case are filed under the court record. But you knew that already, didn't you? I did. Ah, the court record. I think I can see that by pressing the R button. How do you know the R button exists? All of the weapons we need can be found in the court record. Take a good hard look at the data there. Think carefully before you answer, my dear. Yes, sir. I'll do just that. I've got to stay calm. I can't let that prosecutor get the better of me. Court record. Okay, let's take a look. I just press the R button here. Now then, will the attorney for the defense please answer the question? What was the cause of death? I mean, it's electrocution. Can I? I don't want to. I don't want to present that. Right? I can't present, can I? Can't I? Yeah. Fatal electric shock. Like, what else would it be? <laughs> According to the court record. It was a fatal electric shock, in other words, electrocution. Electrocution? Hmm. But how could such a thing happen? Well, what do you mean, how does such a thing happen? Are we looking at the same crime photo? I knew he was dense, but come on. Did the murderer use some type of new, super powerful stun gun, perhaps? The answer to that will become crystal clear as this trial proceeds, Your Honor. But before that, there is more vi uh, one more vital issue. What? What's that? Why? Motive, of course. Apparently, there was some bad blood between the victim and the defendant. Bad blood? What do you mean? It doesn't matter if there was bad blood if it's an accidental death. Oopsie, I'm terribly sorry. You're the defense attorney, so you must know all about it. I shouldn't be stealing your spot like, like this. I really don't like this guy's smug attitude. That's Winston Payne for you. He's one smooth operator, if you catch my drift. They don't call him the rookie killer for nothing, you know? Now then, let's hear from the defense. What was the source of the bad blood between the victim and the defendant? It was a woman, we know that. And this time, I would like to see some supporting evidence. E evidence? Ah, no need to get all worked up over this. As I said, all our weapons can be found in the court record. Find the evidence you need and then shove it in the old Greybeard's face. Yes, sir. Uh, into old Greybeard's face. Ah, uh, Mr. Crossbow. Try to set a better example for the young lady. Mia, evidence isn't the only thing in the court record. People's profiles are as well. You can toggle between profiles and evidence with the R button, so be sure to go over it. Now then, let's see what you've got. What was the cause of the bad blood between Phoenix Wright and the victim? Well, it has to be her then. <laughs> Screw it. Mr. Grossberg, I honestly think it would be best for the defense if you were in charge. I'm afraid Miss Faye might stir up some bad blood with this court if she were to continue. Or simply put, you are quite mistaken, my dear. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I do. Even if you are new, your lack of preparation is inexcusable. It's like, why we've not got, like, any danger of failing? Gonna play around, you know. Now take a moment to think it over again. 
Yes, Your Honor. It's okay, you've got another chance, Mia. Mia, evidence isn't the only thing. Yeah, we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, let's do the actual one this time. The reason for the bad blood between the two of them was this woman here. Dahlia Hawthorne, is it? Very good, Miss Fay. You seem to have picked up on at least this much. This woman is the girlfriend of the defendant, Phoenix Wright. But up until about eight months ago, she was with the victim, Mr. Swallow. Clearly, she has some part to play in this story. Hmm. Ah, he's done it again, fallen asleep. Before the cross-examination starts, he's already got to the judge thinking like he wants. Very well, Mr. Payne. Please call your first witness. If it pleases the court, the prosecution would like to call Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? The defendant himself? Well, Miss Fay? It's fine. After all, Mr. Wright is innocent, right? The defense has no objection. Very well. The court calls Mr. Phoenix Wright to the witness stand. Witness, please state your name and occupation. Oh, uh, y yes, uh, my name is Phoenix Wright. My job is, um, well, uh, right now I guess I'm a suspect. No, 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 he, he means what you did before you were arrested. Oh, uh, a true, a true, a true. I was a university student. Mr. Wright, you understand that you are suspected in the death of your fellow student, Dux but, but I didn't do it. I'm innocent, I tell you. I'm telling you, uh, I was... Would the defendant please refrain from passing on his call to the rest of us? We don't want you causing a pandemic. It seems the witness has something he wants to say. Mm. Well then, Mr. Wright, please tell us about your relation to the victim. Right away, Your Honor. The victim and I. Um, I... I admit I was there. But I'm not a killer. All I did was find his body. I hardly knew the guy to begin with. I never even talked to that stuck-up British wannabe. Oh my. I'll, I'll try and do my best. British accent for the guy if he ever comes up, you know. Hmm, I see. So you hardly knew the victim. Right. Like I said, I'm not a killer. Hmm. Looks like the judge understands. Hmm. You're being naive. Thank you for the double dot naive. You're being naive, you know. Two double dot naive. Huh? Hmm. 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 It seems that you've forgotten one small thing, young lady. And that would be... This witness still has to undergo something called cross-examination. Cross-examination? He's right. And it's the defense's duty to carry out the cross-examination. The purpose is to determine if a witness's testimony contains any contradictions. Contradictions? If a witness is lying, their statements will conflict with the court record. But... Mr. Wright is my client. Even if he is your client in court, all lies must be struck down. As a lawyer, that is your duty, you see. What does he mean by that? Is he saying that testimony just now that there was a lie, a contradiction? Now then, your cross-examination, if you please, Miss Fay. Please, Mr. Wright. Tell me you haven't been lying. You wouldn't do that to me, would you? The victim and I. Um, I, I admit I was there, but I'm not a killer. All I did was find his body. I already knew the guy to begin with. I never even talked to that stuck-up British wannabe. See, this is the thing for me. It's like, it's very much like, obviously I'm going to pinpoint straight onto the Britishness, aren't I? It's like, I hardly knew the guy to begin with. So how did you know he was a British wannabe? Mr. Wright, you stated the following in your testimony. I 
hardly knew the guy to begin with. That's right. I, I meant, why would I even... But that doesn't sound right. You hardly knew him. And why would you say that the victim was a stuck-up British wannabe? Well, Mr. Wright? Uh, no, it wasn't me. I am not a killer, I swear. Mm-hmm. Mr. Wright, I will give an opportunity to revise your testimony. How is it that you knew the victim was, as you put it, a British wannabe? Y yes, well... He was always walking around with a huge Union Jack on the back of his shirt. I think you'll find it's called the, uh, Union Flag, because he's not flying it at sea, so it's not the Union Jack. Just... just saying. So, if that's come up, let's have a look at our evidence here. So let's... I'm trying to think, like, where we'll get information. So I want to see his jacket, basically, and I don't think we'll get it there. So let's have a look in this. There's... No. Like, I mean, if that's his shirt, like, no. Like, no. Like, that's, that's his shirt, not a jacket, right? Which, there's, there's no Union Jack there, and even if there was, how did you see it? Right? How are you certain you saw the Union Jack? Yeah, I'm sure. It was right there on his back. Miss Fay, is there some point to this line of questioning? Rona, please take another look at the crime scene photo. As you can see, there's absolutely nothing on the victim's back. Hey, wait a minute. He's wearing a leather jacket. That's, yeah, you see, this is what I was like, hmm. Hmm. So the only way you could have seen the shirt is if you knew him a bit more. So even then. Union Jack was on the back of the t-shirt he was wearing. I was under the impression that you accidentally came across the body. If that was really the case, then you wouldn't know that, would you? You'd have no idea at all what he was wearing underneath the jacket. Mr. Wright, you've been lying to me. Please forgive me. Oh, he's crying. Mia, you've made our client cry. Let him... Uh, that pee on his chest. Doesn't stand for Phoenix anyways. Can't believe I trusted him. Mr. Wright was all wrong. <laughs> that was an impressive bit of cross-examination. Thank you for uncovering the defendant's lies for me. It's quite clear that this man did not simply stumble upon the scene of the crime. Uh-oh. Did I go too far? By the way, Mr. Wright, you seem to have a rather bad cold. Have you taken any medicine for it? I, um, yeah, I took some, but... Was the medicine that you took an over-the-counter brand called Cold Killer X? Yeah, that's right. Kills colds good, apparently. Hey, wait a second. How did you know I'm a big fan of Cold Killer X? <laughs> Do you happen to have that medicine with you right now? Well, actually, I seem to have lost it somewhere. He lost it. Does this even have anything to do with the case? Yeah. Mr. Wright, shall I tell you where your cold medicine is right now? Huh? Your Honor, I'd like you to take a look at another photo from the crime scene. Okay, so... It's like what? Five past three? On his watch? I don't know why the watch would have stopped, though, but that seems significant. What's this? In the victim's hand, it's... It's Cold Killer X. Addicted. Yes, but even I've got a bottle of Cold Killer X in my apartment. Addicted. All right, then. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid that argument won't work. Why not? There's no doubt as to who this bottle of Cold Killer X belongs to. Fingerprints, I'm imagining. Especially since Mr. Wright's fingerprints are all over it. What? Oh, it makes sense. Sensing his murderous intent, Mr. Swallow must have picked up the bottle of medicine, dropped by Mr. Wright, and hid it in his hands. His purpose in doing so can only have been to identify his killer as Mr. Phoenix Wright. 
Uh, that makes sense, right? Yeah. Order, order in the court. Your Honor, I'd like to present this photo and bottle as evidence. Very well. The court will accept them into the record. Why would the... Oh, yeah, of course. I was like, why would the watch stop at the time of death? That doesn't make any sense that like he was electrocuted. There you go. Calculate X added to the court record. Covered in rights fingerprints. Also, the victim's wristwatch was broken. Broken? Yes, it ceased functioning when a large wave of electricity passed through it. Yeah, there you go. Well, Mr. Wright, do you have some kind of explanation for all of this? This is really bad. Oh, my buttocks. My poor, poor hemorrhoids. Alright. Thank you for letting us know that. What really happened? The truth is... I went because he called me. He was in the pharmacology department. So we agreed to meet at 2.45 behind that building. We walked for a bit. And around 3, we split up. Then later... When I went back, I found him lying there. I've been taking calculate eggs for the last two or three days. But I lost my bottle of it around lunchtime on the day of the accident. Mr. Rice, that's completely different from the testimony you gave previously. Oh, you noticed, did you? Well done. I I'm sorry, Your Honor. I was afraid you wouldn't believe the truth. You'll forgive me if I say I hardly find your current testimony any more acceptable. Hmm. Miss Fay, please begin your cross-examination. Oh, please, Mr. Wright, don't tell any more lies. What really happened? Okay. The truth is, I went because he called me. Why did he call you? Had you ever met the victim before, then? No, never. Hmm, but... That day, he called me up and told me he wanted to talk about Dolly. And this Dolly person is... My, um... It's kind of embarrassing, yeah. She's my, um... Sweetheart. Oof. What, what, what's that for, Mia? Oh, I'm so sorry. I just felt like slapping something all of a sudden. <laughs> it's just... All right. Dolly or Hawthorne is also the lover of the murder victim, Doug Swallow. Before she met... Mr. Wright, that is. Hmm. So it's one of those nasty love triangles, I see. He was in the pharmacology department. So he agreed to meet at 2.45 behind that building. Mm-hmm. We walked for a bit, and then at around 3, we split up. And later, when I went back, I found him lying there. Why did you go back? So you say you went back? Um, yeah, that's when I found the body. Yes, but why did you go back in the first place? Weren't you angry with him? Well, that's right, I was. But why, Mr. Wright? Why did you go back there? Um, well, maybe we could make up. Judging by the atmosphere, I'm pretty sure no one is buying this. I've been taking calculate eggs for the last two or three days. Seems fine. But I lost my bottle of it around lunchtime on the day of the accident. I'd like more information on that. On the day of the incident, what did you do for lunch? Huh? What does that have to do with anything? Want to know how you lost it, you idiot. You can never be too sure. I always eat with Dolly. Just the two of us. Dolly's homemade lunches are just the greatest. Mmm, the mini omelettes are magically delicious. <laughs> Ouch, why do you punch me in the jaw? Oh, I I'm so sorry, I just felt like hurting someone all of a sudden. Well, Mia, I don't know. I don't seem to find any contradictions. The boy is exactly what I call a natural-born liar, you know. But still, we can't have him continue to spout nonsense. I know, but what can I do? Certainly you must still be hiding something. Information, right? Now it's information we need more than anything else. All right, press him on everything then. The truth is, I went because he called me. 
Had you ever met the victim before them? No, never. But that day he called me up and told me to, to talk about Dolly. This Dolly person is... Sweetheart, yep. <laughs> Maybe I just wanted to see him get slapped again, you know. Maybe. He was in the pharmacology department, so we agreed to meet at 2.45 behind that building. Was it Mr. Swallow who indicated you should meet at 2.45? Yeah. And we were both there right on time. Hmm. Said so the victim was in the pharmacology department, correct? Yeah, he was studying how to manufacture and improve pharmaceuticals. Everyone called him the Alchemist of IVU. I don't think it's going to be that good of an Atlia game. An alchemist, I see. Gotta admit, I was a little suspicious. He had a whole laboratory and everything. It was filled with chemicals and strange machines that run on high voltage electricity. Uh -huh. Oh, how fascinating. Sounds like he was quite an ambitious young man. What do I do? I'm sure to ask him for some more details. Ooh. I'd like some more information about the, like, the, um, high voltage equipment. I was wondering if you could tell us a bit more about the pharmacology department. Oh, okay, sure. I don't know all that much, though. A little bit earlier in your testimony, you said something interesting. You said the department uses strange machines that run on high voltage electricity. And that's right. They sure look dangerous. They use non-standard voltages. So there are high voltage cables everywhere. Mhm. Uh -huh. High voltage cables. Yeah. There were electrical poles set up all around the building. The high voltage cables run overhead around the roof. Finally, I think we're getting somewhere. I think that's enough for now. So the defendant and the victim met approximately the time of his death. And then the defendant returned to the scene for some unknown reason. Not entirely convinced by his explanation about the medicine bottle either. Let me be frank here. Judge Frank, Mr. Wright. Your testimony cannot be trusted. What, what do you mean? <laughs> I knew it was too much work for a little girl. Hmm. However, there is one mystery that still remains. There is, Your Honor. How the murder was carried out, of course. Yeah. Hey, what? You can't just say it's murder just because there's a dead body. Just how was the victim electrocuted? I don't believe the murder weapon has been produced yet. Correct? Well, that is, I... You are correct, Your Honor. Yeah, that's kind of a big hole. So how exactly was Mr. Swallow killed? I could somehow establish how it was done. Maybe I could still come out of this mess smelling like a rose. And we'll find out how in the next part. Ta-da for now! <laughs>